this event that I'm doing was partly inspired by this exhibit and, and um, of course, all the problems going on. My vision is that sharing our stories about our life with nature will move us out of a spectator role, watching our Earth become incre increasingly damaged by business as usual, by denial, by our own sense of overwhelm and, and guilt that maybe we haven't done much. I felt like we needed to get out of this and that some passionate love stories for the Earth might help. Some Gaia monologues that aren't afraid or polite. Being a drama therapist, I've learned that the creative arts really help us deal with tough issues um, to cope and to, to transcend them, um, to have some fun with them, to play with the unplayable. And that's what we're going to do a little bit today. All right, so we're going to walk around and look at the art. And then, then I'm going to give you a chance to, um, to move from your inner child. You can pretend like you're a 10-year-old. And how would the 10-year-old enjoy this space and all the things on the wall? <laughs> Can you, can you take a risk and break out of the gallery mode that is usually very polite and quiet and well-behaved? looking at these microbes and they also look a little bit like eyeballs at the same time and I feel like these microbes are reproachful. There was a, a big article that came out in the New York Times maybe 10 days ago and then I also happened to hear the authors on public radio about how they, they mapped all of the microbes in the human body and found out how dependent we are on the interactions of the microbes in our garden and other places and how antibiotics are changing that relationship in some cases in very harmful ways. And 80% of the antibiotics used in this country are used on livestock. And it isn't only if you're eating meat that, that you have to worry about it. It's in our water supply everywhere. Our water is filled with antibiotics. And it's changing our microbe relationships in our body. And that's what the painting reminded me of. Thank you. That was, that was beautiful and important, important point. Our green story has to include facts that, that send chills through our bodies. That's part of what they are, you know, and then how we feel. I mean, and I, and I think you feel kind of cold about the whole idea, too, huh? You feel kind of cold or worried, worried about yes, it? Yes, yes. I mean, that, that some of the things that are happening to nature are very visible and obvious, right. whereas right. this is something that may be as serious or more serious, right. but isn't readily right. evident. You right. can't see snow caps melting or any of that right. kind of thing, but it's going on. It's going on, yeah. Thank you. That's beautiful. What's your name? Suzanne Parker. Suzanne. Thank you, Suzanne. I picked um, Transmigration, Jane Ling Lutgood, Abrams. And uh, it's a very personal story. I, I love nature, but um, I've just come to hate it in the last few weeks because uh, my partner has Lyme disease and he's very sick. He was very sick. I'm hoping he's getting better. 
but he has been very, very sick. And I look at our garden, which is a beautiful garden, and I don't want to go out in it. I want somebody else to take care of it. I don't want to sit outside because I'm so afraid now of ticks mm -hmm. and so afraid that he'll get it again because he can get it again and again and he says he never loses it. So I feel terrible about nature now and I want to mm. get my love of nature back. And this to me is just so beautiful. I would just like to go into this painting and just lie down here and just stay forever mm. <laughs> and never need anything. And mm. uh, so I put my soul there. And, uh, mm -hmm. But the real nature now, yeah. uh, I'm scared of. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That was beautiful.